Marcellae Hasuta is a carpeting plant originating from Australia. It's actually an amphibious fern and its leaves transition from a four-leaf clover-like appearance into rounder leaves, reminiscent of a darker green and larger glossostigma. Marcellae was named after the 18th century Italian botanist Giovanni Marcelli. Marcellaea hirsuta is an easy category carpeting plant supplied in 1-2 grow tissue culture cups in our Danish laboratories at Tropica. The growth media within the cup is a liquid type, meaning the plant has adapted to grow underwater almost immediately. It sends out runners quickly and will soon spread across the aquarium substrate to eventually form a solid carpet. If you use CO2 injection and strong lighting, this process can take just a few weeks. For lower energy aquariums with less intense light and no CO2 injection, it can take several months. Peel off the lid from the 1-2 grow cup. Carefully remove the entire plant from the cup. Place the plant into a bowl of water and wash off the growth media. Divide the pot into as many portions as necessary. Plant into your soil or substrate with aquascaping tweezers. Marcellaea hirsuta is most commonly used as a foreground carpeting plant due to its short height. A popular technique is to blend the Marcellaea with another carpeting plant species in order to create a pleasing natural texture. Being an easy category plant, it is one of the few carpeting species that should thrive in low-tech planted tanks, although growth will be much slower and less compact. Due to its relatively large leaves when compared with finer textured carpeting plants, it can look more effective when used in larger aquariums due to the sense of scale. Its darker green colour can look very effective when contrasted with brighter green or red plants. Marcellaea hirsuta is a relatively low maintenance carpeting plant due to its sustainable growth pattern that gradually becomes more dense over time. The carpet can be left to grow for many weeks before any trimming is required, providing there is sufficient light and circulation. Regular vacuuming of the carpet from excess organic waste is necessary to prevent algae and poor plant growth. In the long term, the entire carpet can be removed as one mat, then the healthiest plant separated and replanted with tweezers. It grows best in an aquarium soil, but can be grown in fine gravel and sand if sufficient nutrients are provided by a liquid fertiliser. We recommend Tropica Premium and Specialised Nutrition. Marcellaea hirsuta is a wonderful carpeting plant suitable for a wide variety of aquarium conditions and styles of aquascapes. Being easy to grow and relatively low maintenance, we think it's a great alternative to some of the more popular carpeting plants out there. Why not try it out for yourselves?